Hey, RJ, you ready to go? Uh, you know, boss, go ahead and go without me. Are you sure? It's, it's about dinosaurs. Yeah, I'll, I'll just catch it tomorrow. Uh, okay. Huh. This means more popcorn for me. Go ahead, boss. Have your popcorn. Because soon, our project is going to be complete. <laughs> here. Hi, Faceless here, and back in 1993, we saw Jurassic Park. At the time, this movie redefined CGI and its practical uses. I mean, to see that first glimpse of that ancient beast on the big screen was just pure eye candy. I mean, this was never done, and at the time, no other movie could compare to this. And the wow factor was up there. Along with the special effects, this story was simply amazing. Sure, it was loosely based on the Michael Crichton novel, but the translation from the book to film was fantastic. Now, here we are, more than 20 years later. Jurassic World Okay folks, I'm gonna be blunt. We all seen the first one, and I'm not gonna lie, it's basically the same movie. The only difference with this movie is that they actually have a fully operational theme park with 20,000 visitors at any time. And when I mean operational, I mean they've taken every measure to ensure the safety of these customers. The company pretty much learned from the past, and they ensured to be prepared for anything that happens. Well, almost anything. As successful as the park's been, the money-hungry corporate types really want to increase their money, so they decide to do something a little different. So someone gets the bright idea of crossbreeding a couple of dinosaurs together and creating this monstrous beast called the Indominus Rex, intended to reveal as the park's next big attraction. This, of course, is a fuck up that will literally bite them in the ass. Of course, this beast ends up being a smart animal much to everyone's surprise and somehow was able to escape its cage. And you guessed it, wreak havoc all over the park. Through all this, we follow Owen, played by Chris Pratt, who essentially is an animal trainer who spent the last few years training with Velociraptors. He's basically the hero of the movie, plus a general naysayer or the voice of reason when it comes to these creatures. We also have Claire, played by Bryce Dallas Howard, who runs the park and coincidentally has her nephews come and visit her for a week. She starts off as an ice queen, all business and no play, but as the story unfolds, she loosens up and becomes likable. Then we have her two nephews, Gary and Zach, who essentially are just plot devices for the movie. They have a backstory that deals with their own little family drama, but it felt a little shoehorned and, let's be honest, it doesn't really go anywhere. And if you've seen the trailers for this film, you know what the plot is. The Adamus Rex escapes and all hell breaks loose across the island. We've all seen this story before, but to be fair, it really isn't that bad. Hell, it's better than the last two sequels we had. I think the fun part for me was seeing the company try real hard to contain this monstrosity and fail. I'll admit, it was pretty fun to watch. Then having to use the raptors to aid them in capturing the beast was actually pretty interesting. But the biggest payoff for me in this film was the final showdown. Not trying to give away the ending, but if you felt a little unsatisfied about the T-Rex in the last movie, trust me they make up for it in this film. And I'll admit it, I was squealing like a little kid at the climax of this film. Now the pacing of this film does go a little bit slow, but it does pick up halfway through the film. And after it picks up, it becomes a ride till the end of it. The visual effects were okay, I mean they were stunning and they looked great, but again, it's nothing that you hadn't seen before. There wasn't any gore, but it implies it, which it was effective. Like this one scene that kind of really reminded me of Aliens, where the marines went in and pretty much got slaughtered, plays out the same way in this movie. One by one you saw the camera screens go offline and then flatline. And you see how smart this animal really is, and it gave the movie some added appeal. As for the rest of the film, you pretty much get what you would expect from a Jurassic Park movie. But to the film's credit, it was kind of put in a different light, and I was okay with it. I enjoyed it nonetheless. Though I will tell you, after this incident, I would be surprised, surprised if they open up this park again. Going into this movie, I did have my reservations because of the last two sequels. And to be honest with you, I really didn't see myself given this rating. But I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed the hell out of this movie. So my final recommendation, see it in theaters. You won't regret it. Well, this wraps up this episode. If you have any comments, please share them below. And as always, you can check out my previous reviews and gameplay on peanutbutterdisaster.com where we have other critics with great content. So check them out. Hey, boss. 
Oh, hey, RJ. Dude, you missed a good movie. Yeah, well, I was working on the project, and, well, I kind of have a surprise for you. Uh, what surprise? Something I've been working on for weeks, and it's finally done. Except only... RJ, what the hell did you do? Well, boss, I have some good news and bad news. Oh, Lord. W what's the bad news? Well, our bills and our groceries are going to be kind of up for a little bit. What? Why? Well, that's where the good news comes in. We're dads! Daddy! What did... What did... How? You remember when I punched you and you got all bloodied up? <coughs> oh, you broke my nose! Oh, how can I forget? Well, out of that, I took some blood samples and see if I could make a clone. Instead, I made two, so here you go. You what? I know, right? Yay! We're parents, boss! Oh, fuck me. Nintendo kids. Yay! RJ, we barely have enough food for you, me, and the cat, let alone for these kids. Yeah, the cat. Uh, about that. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell did you do now? Well, I did a little bit more experimenting, and well, the cat turned into this. God damn it, RJ. Peanut butter disaster. <laughs>